people have got this fear fear of others opinion what others will think of me what others will tell about, speak about me and now you we are frightened of others opinion those who are frightened about others opinion will never live their life their whole life will be arranged in such a way that they are just a puppet according to the desires of others so we need to be very careful not to be controlled by the opinions of others we should not be too focused about what others will others are talking about you so that is dangerous because it will make us to fall into sin so let's read gospel of luke chapter 6 verse 26 gospel of luke chapter 6 verse 26 we read like this gospel of luke chapter 6 verse 26 the word of god says like this o to you when i all speak well of you for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets if everyone speaks well of you unnecessarily even when you are not so well and not not so doing well if everyone speaks of you highly we have to be very careful because that is dangerous so just because someone speaks well of you doesn't mean you are right it can happen in many there was a time there were so many people spoke well of hitler and we know what happened to after that that is why he was selected elected so powerfully and because people were so happy the whole country was happy about him but later we know the consequences that happened therefore just because someone everyone speaks well of us doesn't mean we are in the right track jesus should speak well of you jesus should be happy about you so it's good to ask jesus jesus are you happy with me jesus are you happy with my way of behavior are you happy with my the way i speak are you happy with my the way that i behave in front of others relate to others are you happy with me my personal life my personal prayer my personal relationship with you are you happy with me so we need to ask in front of jesus we only need to worry about what jesus speaks about us don't worry about the comments of others sometimes many a time even our dress code is controlled by others opinion when we when we even when we dress we think about what others will think of us even when we walk we are worried about what others are talking about us what others must be thinking about us this will make us falling into sin in the universities and other places many young people have fallen into the gangs gangsters and groupsism just because they wanted to please their superiors i mean please their seniors and please their friends though they know what the others are doing wrong but they are afraid of losing them afraid of losing this support from them afraid of losing the gangster the, the, the gang where they belong therefore they keep quiet they are afraid to speak the truth because they are worried whether they will accept it or not are you afraid to tell the truth then that means there is something that is hap- wrong in happening in us especially we may be when we are speaking to others about uh, you know personal matters we have to be very careful try our best to be good with them but at the same time when we speak the truth especially the truth regarding bible regarding the teaching of the lord jesus regarding the word of god we should never be worried about what others will think of us because we just need to worry about what jesus will think of because jesus said many words when he was here on earth we are not supposed to adulterate any word we are not supposed to change the word according to the situation and according to the time there are many people say jesus says you know i have seen many people saying like this jesus said many things 2000 years ago but now the situation is changed culture changed time changed everything developed science changed therefore we don't need to take everything literally or we don't take everything in that sense we can have some co- compromise that's how many people say my dear brothers and sisters 
if there was a possibility of compromise jesus would have said 2000 years ago you know after some years you can start compromising he never told us so we have no right to compromise therefore don't worry about others what others will tell you or tell you off you just need to trust in the lord and preach the truth truth and speak the truth and you will be protected god will take care of you and that is why jesus said o to you when all speak well of you for what is that is what the ancestors did to the false prophets even prod, false prophets got the app, appreciation from every corner just because everyone uh, everyone accuse you doesn't mean you're wrong during the time of jesus everyone said crucify him he is wrong he is he is guilty crucify him there was not even one person supported him but we know everyone was wrong so just because everyone accuses you does it mean you are wrong but at the same time just because everyone appreciate you does it mean you are right you only need to stand in front of jesus in front of for the judgment you don't need to stand in front of any human being for judgment judgment only comes from god only he has the right to judge even we have no ju- right to judge others therefore let's examine our conscience and say lord i'm sorry for up accepting uh, having this fear of others opinion being controlled by others opinion when someone say something we are moving accordingly lord i'm sorry forgive me i have i have compromised my com- policies i have compromised my faith my conviction just to please others just to please my friends in the college and universities just to please the gangs and the friendship that i belong to them belong to they and com- i compromise to my policies and my convictions lord forgive me let us pray in front of god